What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I am Draco, and as you can see, my beautiful face. It's my beautiful face on the screen. It is a team day. We are going to talk about a team. We're going to have some practice battles. I actually already had the practice battles. I had this all recorded, went into editing, and it turns out that if I have my, uh, if I have my camera going and multiple screen, like my poor, poor little ever faithful laptop just couldn't run it and I was all like glitchy so we're just gonna re-record it uh, we're gonna talk about the team it's a team that I came up with um, I'm actually really proud of this team I think this team is excellent um, I had a lot of fun with the testing and I can't wait to see what it, it can do on the ladder um, it is a, it's a lot of special attackers I'll, I'm gonna I'll open up the team builder and then we'll go over it I don't have my green screen up because you guys see my, my background I improve I got I got Gen 1, 2, and 3 badges now. Yeah, a lot of stuff has been added to since you guys have seen this. It's just shiny Umbreon in the background. If you go over this way. Yep. Yeah, that's my shelf right there. Yeah. Fancy shelf. Anyways, we're getting distracted here. So we're going to talk about the team, and then there will be some test battles. There's a really good test battle. Two test battles. Um, and then we'll talk about what I did, how I came up with the team, and all of that stuff. So, show some support by the channel for the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel, I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers, can't do that without your help. We're almost there. We're getting there super close. We're getting there every day. So go ahead and help me do that by hitting that subscribe button. It is absolutely free. It only takes a few seconds of your time by hitting that little tiny red sub button down there. And let's get on with today's episode. All right, here is the team builder. Um, showdown is where I do all my team building and all that stuff. Uh, no camera, like I said a second ago, because it just glitches and I look really choppy. Anyways, this is the team builder. Um, we're just going to get right into it. And this is the team. So, the Pokemon that I was talking about is going to be this awesome shiny Pokemon, Clawlitzer. The reason why we're using them is I actually came across somebody else using them on, uh, I think a practice battle with one of... It might have been Bada Boom. I'm not for sure, but it was uh, we battled it, and it was a shiny. And I was like, man, that shiny is amazing. Um, when I actually show you guys the team in a minute, uh, in-game cartridge team, I get a really good shot of him, um, sh of his shiny. And I think it's a really, really cool shiny. And the blue little stripes across his face and stuff like that. But this is what the team started off with. So Clawlitzer, let's talk about Clawlitzer for just a few seconds before we get into the rest of the team. Clawlitzer is a water-type Pokemon with an ability... That makes him super interesting, and that's going to be Mega Launcher. Mega Launcher, this Pokemon's pulse moves have a 1.5 time, times power. Heal pulse heals 3 force targets max HP. Basically, what that means is it is a choice specs for moves like Aurora Sphere, Dragon Pulse, and Water Pulse. Shadow Ball, no. It is not affected Shadow Ball. But the choice specs, choice specs affects Shadow Ball, and with this setup... Um, you are a... Let me grab my notes real quick. I haven't written down. Oh, was my game falling? That's okay. So, with the move Shadow Ball and the Choice Specs, if the Flutter Main has a investment of 4 HP, so four, uh, 1 full EV into uh, HP, which is what a lot of them have, you come out to be a 6.3% chance to Oko without Chiyu on the field. Now, if there is zero HP investment, let's say they just go 252, 252 speed, 252 special attack, and there's no uh, HP investment there at all, you you bump that up from 6.3 to a 12% chance to Oko a Flutter Main with a Choice Specs Shadow Ball. That's what the calcs came out to be. Um, I don't know. But if you put Chiyu on the field next to him and you hit the Shadow Ball, it's going to do a lot more damage with, this, with either all four of these moves. Uh, so the whole thought process was alright back to it so uh, Mega Launcher it's a 1.5 times power I had a phone call sorry uh, it's a 1.5 times power heals with 3 force basically like I said a second ago it's choice specs for moves for all the moves um, except for Shadow Ball uh, choice specs Shadow Ball does uh, add more power to that um, and then we already talked about with the um, Shadow Ball potentially being able to Oko, Flutter Mains, and then the other thing is you will actually live um, two attacks. Well, one attack, and then the second attack will take you out. So it's a two-hit KO from any of Flutter Mains' moves. Um, I'm not 
I don't remember if it was choice if I did the choice specs. I think I did. I'm anyways. Uh, you're pretty tanky and you can take a lot of hits, is what I'm saying. So then it was Chi Yu and Wu Chen for the Fire Grass Water Core. We Chi Yu works really, really good, and I was thinking I'm just gonna do stall tactics with Wu Chen. So then we needed a fourth Pokemon, and that's when this Fluttermane came in here. Fluttermane was choice specs, and I actually switched to Life Orb with Protect on the Clawlitzer. Um which is a really good really it was a really good option. It was working a lot, but the life orb damage um, wasn't as impressive with the choice specs damage on Clawlitzer. So uh, we switched that back, and I ended up needing... And I went with the fifth Pokemon, which was this Galmora here. Um, Galmora was a uh, Focus Sash with um, Mortal Spin, Power Gem, Earth Power, and Spiky Shield. Um, we're not going to talk too much about Wu Chen because he gets off the team pretty quickly. Um, and then... The six Pokemon on the team, I just needed something that had good synergy, and that was a flying Pokemon. I really felt like a flying Pokemon would do really well here, and it was Intimidate. So I went with Gyarados because Gyarados has Thunder Wave, it has Taunt, it has Waterfall, it has Protect. It's a really good Pokemon. It has immunity to um, Tinglu moves, like Fisher and stuff like that. So that's where Gyarados came in, and this is the this is what the squad ended up being. Uh, the first iteration. Clawitzer, Chi Yu, Wu Qian, Fluttermane, Gamora, and Gallardos. So I started testing it and it did really well. Um, the biggest problem I was having was I just wasn't bringing Wu Qian. Um, so I started looking at other things and I was like, you know, just run a Mul run a Moongus with Spore. And it, that's where the same exact Moongus that I ran on my um, Global Challenge 2 team came in with Rage Powder Spore, Pollen Puff, and Protect. So then I was like, this is the team. Clawlitzer, Chiyu, Amoongus, Fluttermane, and Galmora. Um, and then Gyarados. So as far as like all the movesets, we went with Aurora Spirit, Dragon Pulse, Water Pulse, and Shadow Ball with the choice specs, the Mega Launcher. The EVs are right here. These, uh, I, 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 I calced them to live um, one of Shadow Ball or Dazzling Gleam or whatever from Clawlitzer. I did the Ghost Terra for e-speeds and stuff like that. Maybe we think about changing that, maybe we don't. We probably won't change it, I don't know. Um, you could run like water, so it's double, you get more damage out of Water Pulse, but uh, you got 80 base power for Aurora Spear, you got 85 base power for Dragon Pulse, you got 60 base power for Water Pulse, and then you got 80 base power for Shadow Ball, all boosted by Mega Launcher or Choice Specs or both. So that's the Clawlitzer. Chiyu came out as a Citrus Berry variant with um, originally had Nasty Plot over Will-O-Wisp and that was how I was running and it was working really really well. I had a different spread here because by the end of the video I was really kind of debating on this and I talk about it um, more at the end but I think this is what we're gonna run. I think that's gonna be good. It gives us a, more of a chance to Will-O-Wisp. I came up against the Don Dozo, Sleep Talk Don Dozo, that just was terrible. And then we already talked to Moongus. Fluttermane became a Life Orb variant with Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Protect, and then Hex. Because Status Condition Pokemon, Status Condition Pokemon, Status Condition Pokemon, Status Condition Pokemon. Why not run Life Orb Hex and do insane amounts of damage? I kept a bulkier build here. Um, and what I did was I just tried to optimize his EV here. Um, so that way his Life Orb tick is less. But... Um, other than that, it's pretty bulky and it hits really, really hard, especially if you have a status of Paralyzed, Sleep, or Poison, which Galmora is totally capable of doing because I ended up going with Assault Vest Corrosion. Corrosion lets you poison or badly poison a Pokemon regardless of their typing. So if they're Poison type, if they're Steel type, we're still poisoning. It allows you to poison Amoonguses. So if there's an Amoongus and they have it, you just got to Mortal Spin it and then hit it with a hex, and the damage output is going to be insane. So that's why we went with the pot, and we went with the Assault Vest, because the team's kind of slow. In some fastest here, slow, here, slow, and there, slow. So we need some bulk to be able to switch in Intimidates and stuff like that, and the Assault Vest just was the answer with Corrosion, which is awesome. It synergizes so well with hex. Um, so that was Gamora. Final Pokemon of the squad was Gyarados. And I went with Safety Goggles, Waterfall, Taunt, Thunder Wave, and Protect for his moveset with the Water Terra. In case we do have to Terra him, we get 
bigger stab damage on waterfall. Safety goggles so we can switch into mushrooms and we don't get redirected for our thunder waves and our taunts. So that's what the team looks like. This is the team that we went with for the testing. We did have citrus berry in testing um, just because that's what it is. But like I said, after testing, um, we might go with focus sash. So what's gonna happen now is I will jump over and um, be the in-game team. Talk about the team. You guys will see the team, um, what it looks like and all that stuff. And then there'll be some test battles. So if you guys are stoked uh, for this episode, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, we are on our way to 200 subscribers. We are trying to get there. We're almost there. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's take a look at the team. All right, and here it is, the Claw Witzer team. <clears throat> I don't really have a fi fancy name for this team. It's pretty disappointing. Uh, it's just Claw Witzer Firegrass Water. How about Mega Firegrass Water because of Mega Hunter? Anyways, wow. Gamora. Yeah, uh, three feet, bro. Three feet. So this is the team. Um, we went with... Of course, none other than the shiny Kloetzer himself. It's such a cool, such a cool shiny. Look at it. Oh, I hit the wrong button. It's such a cool shiny. Um, are you going to activate? You're not going to interact? Oh, there he is. Really good shiny. I, I think he's amazing. The blue stripes, the big old claw. And then is, this is the uh, Fluttermane, same Fluttermane. Um... It's just the flutter main I had. Uh, same with the Gamora. Um, this is the Gamora, shiny Gamora, super cool shiny. And then this is the same exact Amoongus, Amoongus the Feisty. And then this is the Gyarados. Had to go with the excellent shiny that is Red Gyarados. So we have the two red Pokemon here. Uh, fun fact, I um, when I shiny hunt, I have another switch. So what you can do if you have two switches, you just need two Herba Mystica and then whatever recipe you're going to use. And what you do is you set up, set up the one switch with the main core ingredients of your recipe. So I use the sandwich recipe that is um, a tomato, a uh, onion, a green pepper, and a burger. So those are like the four main ingredients and then the two Herba Mystica. So one switch brings those and then the other switch brings the ingredient that's going to give you the... Like, if you're hunting dragons, uh, it's like avocado or something like that. So you're going to bring two of those. And then you're going to bring, um, for the condiments, you're just going to bring butter. It butter. doesn't mess with it at all. And then you make the sandwich. And then what you do is the switch, the second switch, not your main switch, you just turn it off. Don't hard save. Don't do anything. Just quit the game after the sandwich is eaten. Just turn it off. Um, the picnic will disband. And then the one switch still has 30 minutes of sparkling power. So that's what I did. And I ended up catching the Red Gyarados and the Clawlitzer um, on the same sandwich. And I didn't do that. I didn't do the double switch setup. I have Herba Mysticas on my main account. I had two extra ones. So I just used it and, and the same sandwich. I've never done that before. I got this guy and I got the Shiny Gyarados. So these guys were caught in the same time with the same shiny sandwich. So they're buddies. This is the team. Uh, regular Chiyu, obviously. I wish it was Shiny Chiyu. I've peeked at his uh, shiny form and he's really, really cool. This is what it looks like. I'm really excited to use it. Um, so what we're going to do now is we'll just do some test battles. So give me one second to find a couple of those. All right, first test battle of the test session. I like to call these testing tunes. This is what I like to call them. Um, YouTuber14 here has a Typhlosion. That's good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, so I think if we just lead, like, Gilmora, um, let's see, we don't want to bring Gyarados, unfortunately, so I think if we go Gilmora, Flutter, Chiyu, and Clawlitzer. Do we want to bring Clawlitzer here? We could switch Clawlitzer for the mushroom. Mm, but it's the first battle. I really want to bring it. Mmm, decisions, decisions. Well, 
I'm an indecisive person. So we indecisively chose to bring Clawitzer. That could be an indecision, decision, decision that makes us lose this bat battle. I said decision like five. I think I glitched there. I said decision like five times in a row. Pretty sure the Matrix glitched there, and that's why I said that. <clears throat> but good luck. Have fun. That is a hilarious trainer card. I love it. I love a good trainer card. Oh, and you got that good suit? Like me? Ah. Oh. Look you. Alright, so they go bundle. Oh, you know, we should have brought the mushroom. Because of the toxic debris. I am a silly person. Okay, that's fine. Um, we, uh, we don't have to hit it with anything like that. We just hit it with a special tech. Which is what we got. It's, we just don't hit it with a physical. Um, I'm trying to pull the pokey paste up because I forgot to. There we go. Okay. So we go. Mortal spin. And protect. That way we start poisoning everything, and then we can hex things afterwards. Okay, super effective. We're Assault Vest, so we live. Uh, our attack does fall, and they Stealth Rock. Okay. I'm fine with that. Mortal Spin. Poison. They're like, why am I poisoned? Because. That's why. Okay. Google Chrome. Well, we definitely should have brought the mushroom. Um, I'm going to hex Google Chrome. <laughs> I love that name. It's the best because it's Chrome. We'll try to earth power that and hex you. Let's see what happens. So the way Hex works is, is if it's burned, paralyzed, or poisoned, it does like double damage or something like that. Ice Beam. We live that. Hex. They don't live that. Google Chrome is hexed out of the game. Not hexed, but hexed. <laughs> Hilarious. Good stuff. Power Gem. Flutter's like, well, I don't know what you're doing here, bud, but it ain't knocking me out. Double KO. Whew. Come down, boys. All right. Good stuff. Typhlosion. I was really hoping. Man, I haven't seen the fire in game yet, but that is some bad fire. All right. Um, I mean, we'll... Who's in the back? Chiyu. And Clawlitzer. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna attempt a mortal spin. And a protect. Might as well try it. They probably, uh, Tarasula's eyes there are... I was going to say there, um, oh, oh, that's, I got you in the back with Heat Wave all day. I figured they were going to terrestrialize the, um, what's his face? <laughs> oh my god, why can't I, like, who's that Pokemon? Terra Blast. <laughs> he totally, oh my gosh, so cracked, Mortal Spin. Son of Tuzu, which I'm being awful, can't remember the name right now. That is, um, oh my gosh, I feel like an idiot right now. Oh, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. Anyways, they're both poisoned. They're both poisoned. Oh my gosh, I'm really stuck on that name.
Anyways. <clears throat> um. Well, they're not both poisoned. Did they protect? Oh, it has no effect, though. I thought you could poison them. Anyways, that doesn't matter. We'll go for Earth Power. We'll go for Hex. Hex! Typhlosion goes bye-bye. That's King Gambit. It's King Gambit, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. It's still really early, okay? Give me a break. <laughs> Stay tuned for more of Draco trying to figure out who's that Pokemon. Koltau Klee from Son of Tuzu takes out Flutterman. You know what, guys? We're giving it to Clawwitzer. My guy Clawwitzer comes in. And we go Chi Yu. And. No. Just a Roar Spear. And a Roar Spear. So, we switched Chi Yu in to make the Aurora Spear do more damage. And probably would have KO'd anyways, but. There's the Aurora Spear. There's the KO for Clawlitzer. GG's. That was a really good demonstration on how Hex works. We hexed them. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I don't know why I did that. Let's get to another test battle. Alright. The testing has been going today. Two battles, same person. So, like, that's not a test to me. That's a two battles of the same person. Um... Because we found out what we wanted from the first battle, that we suck against Sleep Talk, Surf, Life, or Don Doso. But I mean, like, who doesn't? In the rain. Like, who honestly doesn't suck against that? That's, like, so much damage. It's not even funny. But Nate here's got a pretty rocking team. Um, I'm seeing some weaknesses in this team. There's no priority. They have a Pachirisu, which is really good. Let's go Chi Yu. Let's go Clawwitzer. Let's go Mushroom in the back. Back by Flutter. We're not going to bring Gyarados. Because if that thing is in fact defiant, we don't want to do that. And we're just going to bring our special attackers because they have an uh, a Intimidator themselves. Stock trainer card. Change that. Change your trainer card. Okay. They're gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna try and lo water pause a little J. They do tailwind. See, we don't have to win, which is something I really thought about putting on the team, but we just drain punch. How does that knock out our Chi Yu like that? Not fair! How did it do that? Okay. I mean, let's just go over there again. That losing Chi Yu first turn like that was unfortunate. They're, they're Brave Bird. Okay. They knocked themselves out. Okay, so this our Water Pulse will redirect here. If we can bulk up, sure. We're, phys we're uh, special, so that's bulk up all day long, Angry Monkey. That was a lot of damage. They are not Vital Spirit. They are, in fact, Defiant. Okay. Lefties. There's our lefties as well.
That drain punch, man. It's nonsense. And we have a bulkier build. I don't know. I, I think I really gotta put Focus Sash on there. Um, what's Rage Powder? Actually. Yeah, we'll Rage Powder. And we'll switch into Flutter here. So they take their first turn of sleep. Oh, maybe we should sport actually. Yeah, we shouldn't rage powder. We should just should just sport. Hopefully they try and sucker punch or something. They're gonna ice spinner though, because that's the right play. Yeah, icicle crash. Yeah, that was the right play all day long. Okay. So we uh, um we're gonna shadow ball, I think. And uh or we could protect Aurora Sphere. It's fine. Because we're going to Dragon Claw. Pinky. I don't know who Pinky is. Alright. Well, we're going to de-glean Dragon Claw that spot. I did Dragon Claw because of the um, potential of the Garchomp in the back. Oh. Okay. That's unfortunate there, um, because we really need to take care of it. Because our Dragon Claw will do nothing. Okay, Angry Monkey is still fast asleep. That's really good. This D-Gleam should still do a lot of damage. Okay. And let's see what this Dragon Claw does. Or not Dragon Claw. It's not Dragon Claw, by the way. I could call it Dragon Claw, it's Dragon Pulse. So we are Choice Band, Mega Launcher, Boosted. They do have a Citrus Berry, but... Okay, perfect. Alright. Um... So their final Pokemon... was the Sucker Puncher. Fret Boy. And their tailwind did peter out, right? Okay. Um, Dragon Claw and Dazzling Gleam. Oh, that sucks they woke up. That's fine. Icicle Crash. Fluttermane voiding the icicle crash was huge. D gleam. That that miss wins us the game. Okay. And the dragon claw doesn't do anything. The D gleam. I figured they were focus sash. Why you're not focus sash there is questioning me. Is making me question possibly my existence. That's weird. The life orb. A lot of people have been running life orb on those things to calc for people. Oh, a lot of people have been running life orb because people have been calping to live sucker punches and stuff like that. We're just gonna struggle, which is hilarious. But um, 
A moon blast to the face. Right to Angry Monkey's eye. GG's. Good way to wrap it up. That showed what Kalwitzer can do. I mean, it's definitely had its moment there. Um, like I said, I think Focus Sash is the way to go here on uh, the Chi Yu. And maybe a uh, full speed investment. Maybe. Hmm, I'm looking at the. Let's see. Hmm. I was just looking at the pokey face while I was looking for the video. Anyways, she's just my opponent. Um, I'm not going to put the rental code out yet. That'll be available tomorrow, uh, Monday. What I'm going to do is. I'm going to. Uh, talk about the team for a second. I had to think about what I was going to do for a second because I'm not putting the rental code up. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, yeah, one second. All right, so we're back in the team builder. Um, just to wrap up real quick, we're going to just take a look at a few things. So I was really impressed with uh, Klawitzer throughout today's testing battles. I did about eight of them, um, and I was really impressed. I, t two of them were against the same team, against the Sleep Talk Don Dozo. I put him to sleep thinking that was the key, and usually that's what you would do, but it happened to have Sleep Talk with Life Orb Surf in the ring. When you're doing 80% damage to my Water-type Gyarados, nothing I can do there. We did, um, in the second time I faced him, because I don't face him twice, I did Terra the Chi Yu into the grass, and it didn't live, but it would have been a two hit. Um, and I played, so used to it being physical, I played played it with like Intimidates and stuff, instead of just attacking it. Um, I Like I burned it. But Surf is, isn't a physical move. It's a special move. So I misplayed that those two games completely wrong. It, it, the Sleep Talk just threw me off. So a couple of things to watch out for that. Uh, there's no priority move. There's no real speed control except for Tailwind. Or except for Thunder Wave. Sorry about that. Maybe we take out something like um, Gamora. Like you could take Gamora out. Which I'm not going to. Because I love the whole synergy with uh, Fluttermane. His Hex. Um, and the Corrosion. But we could, you could switch that for a Tailwind user, which would probably optimize the team a little bit better. Um, you can even just go with, like, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, you could do Miracro. Miracro would actually be really good because it has Haze. Actually, Miracro would be really well, do really well here. Um, you could do, like, a Evil Light Miracro build with Haze, Tailwind, Foul Play. And, I don't know, pick your fourth move. Sunny Day. Sunny Day could be good. That, actually, that might be really good. Oh, I'm going to have to think about that. Probably not, because I really like, I said I really like the Corrosion synergy with Fluttermane and the rest of the team. The other thing I was thinking of, really thinking about, and probably this is what I'm actually going to do, is I'm going to switch this to Focus Sash, right? And then I'm just going to tweak his EVs a little bit um, away from the 164, this stuff, which I don't even think I is right right now. Um, I mean, I would probably just do, honestly, 252... Like this. And, uh, do that. Just, and then dump your remaining four into, I don't know, put a coin defense. I, maybe that's what I would do. Um, it's equal. I put an equal sign instead of a plus sign. That's funny. So, I mean, at level 50, it gives him a, a special attack at a 205. So, those heat waves, two heat waves and dark pulses do amazing. Uh, Protect is still there. will is still there. Focus. Is, I think that's what I'm going to run. I actually, I really like that now that I'm looking at it more. I got to really debate on maybe switching out a Tailwind user. That could definitely be a thing. But that's the episode. That's one of the changes I would do is just this Flutter main right here. Um, but yeah, that's the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, the test episode, um, and this team. Um, I think it is a going to be a really fun team. I just got to do a couple of finalizing things, like change to Chiyu, and now I'm really going to think about uh, maybe putting Flutter, or maybe putting uh, Talonflame or, not Flutter, Flutter, I looked at Flutter, Talonflame or Miracro on the team. 
I feel like those guys could uh, maybe do some really good work. Anyways, that's the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, show some support for the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the channel, let's try and get this channel to 200 subscribers. Can't do that without your help. It is absolutely free and just takes a little bit of your time by clicking that subscribe button. Until next time, stay positive, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.